I was going to play you a clip, but to be honest, I can't be bothered. Can we skip the clip and I'll just tell you about it? Because the clip is, you know, okay, here's the thing. Babysitter goes to a house. Phone rings. Voice is threatening. Babysitter's scared. Babysitter rings the police. Police say, we'll try to call. Babysitter, lights go on and off. blah de blah blah Camera chases around the house. And you think, okay, fine. Look, the original, the 1979 by Fred Walton, uh, had a good... 17 minutes at the beginning and after that it was incredibly boring this goes one better it's just incredibly boring right the way from the beginning the slasher movie died for a very good reason was everyone was bored with it and then Wes Craven did Scream sort of reinvented it in a sort of postmodern ironic way and then we had I don't know care what you did last summer which took all the postmodern irony out and then there was a scary movie movies which weren't even funny and now we seem to be exactly back where we were when I was 16 with those stupid movies when uh, Halloween was first made it was originally called The Babysitter Murders and you would think that they th- if this is so formulaic so dull so dreary so totally lacking in any original ideas whatsoever that you almost think that it's an arch pastiche that is somehow spoofing the genre by just doing everything there's the cat that jumps out there's the door that slams there's the guy with the weird mask and the funny voice there's the bit with the phone it's he knows you're alone don't go in the shower don't answer the phone don't ring the police because guess where the call is coming from in the first place it was rubbish and then some and sometimes i can watch those movies and think well it kind of reminds me of what it was like to be 14 and sometimes i watch those movies and think i you know the skin on my face is sagging and i can feel my wrinkles getting longer and longer i can feel every single part of me just atrophying and getting older and old and it's only like 70 you know 90 i mean it just you know, you start to you walk out like an old man. You're thinking, I can't bear this anymore. Directed by Simon West, right? Started out making Con Air, eh, all right. Then went on to make Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Eh. And from there, the, huh, I'm doing my Johnny Cash impression now. I mean, that's how his career that has gone. That was Johnny Cash? Well, no, it wasn't. It was me doing an impression of Joaquin Phoenix doing Johnny Cash. It's out on video, on DVD in a week's time, and it's absolutely fabulous. The only thing worth noting about uh, When a Stranger Calls is that the original had a t- made-for-TV sequel called When a Stranger Calls Back. And, uh, <laughs> and oh, I'm looking no. forward to the possibility that there will be a When a Stranger Calls Back for this. It was rubbish. Oh, also, the lead actress is the woman out of The Ballad of Jack and Rose. Remember that? When you had uh, your man, Daniel Day-Lewis, came in. Oh, him. Did it be him? Oh, yeah. I do remember well, that. Well, not him, her. Him and her. Yes. Well, that was a lot better, and that was quite dull. Carson.